In today's sound check, I am using a hardware effects solution where yesterday I used everything through jack, guitarix, and hydrogen drum machine. Uh, I used the Valatin GP100 effects pedal, and interestingly, uh, when I purchased this, I made an interesting discovery that uh, this unit is uh, fully USB compatible. And much to my surprise, uh, I ran this through the latest uh, the software installer through the latest version of Wine. It picked it up and it allows me to actually uh, program this thing on my Linux box through Wine flawlessly. So uh, I gotta say that I love this. Uh, usually when I'm hooking up my guitar to the computer, I'm actually uh, using Guitarix more than I would use this, whereas this pedal comes with me when I'm bringing my guitar around town and I want to maybe go to the park or I'm uh, going to church or something like that and I want to be able to uh, jam out there. So uh, this is an excellent solution though because this provides you with uh, all the really cool things that Guitarix has to offer. I'm also going to look at rack, -a -rack and uh, maybe some other things. Uh, if you guys have some suggestions of things you would like to see me try with my guitar, uh, other than getting lessons, I'm already taking lessons and I'm failing miserably at that, so I don't need you critiquing my terrible guitar playing, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I know I'm miserable at the instrument, but hey, it still brings me a lot of enjoyment, even if it isn't music to your ears, okay? <laughs> Uh huh, and uh, oh, here's another sound uh, that this pedal has. Uh, this is something that is supposed to be close to, I think, uh, fairly close to a, a famous uh, guitar player's sound. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> See, I told you, I got sloppy technique. Before tackling a task like this, the first thing I usually like to do is take notes because midlife crisis causes me to forget things, and I forget things quite often. So it's always useful for me to have a folder full of my dirty little cheat sheets so I can remember how I did stuff because, yeah, <laughs> it's impossible for me to remember all this stuff. So at any rate, um, basically uh, what you're seeing here on the screen here is uh, all the little steps I took to uh, set up Jack to work with Pulse Audio and actually coexist with it. And the nice thing about this little setup is once I turn on Jack, um, I can continue using Pulse Audio and everything works and I never have to shut it down. As a matter of fact, I've had this running for days on end. You know, so I can watch YouTube, I can watch videos off the internet or whatnot. Um, then later on, if I feel like picking up my guitar and jamming out, I can. I just open up the program. Jack's been running, and it's always been running, and that sort of thing. So this is an awesome little uh, setup that I have here. It's probably not even done the right way. Some of you guys are going to leave comments down there. Hey, you didn't do that right. Well, you're probably right. I probably didn't do it right. But this is how I set it up, and it seems to work okay for me, so... But hey, if you know of a better way, hop on cupoflinux.com and tell me. I'll try it out. Why not? You know, there's, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm a sucker for good ideas, you know, so. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to make sure my user is in the real-time uh, group, okay? And so uh, I would open a terminal and issue this command. All right. Hey, 
see, I gotta put pseudo there. Okay, and I'm added to the real-time group. Great, well, I was already in there anyway. All right, and then of course, you're gonna to need to use your package manager to, in, to ensure that you have these items installed. Jack2, lib32-jack, pulse audio-jack, and a QJack control. Of course, if you're using Arch Linux like me, that is a sudo pacman, tac, s, and then capital S. And then your uh, little list of applications. If you're doing this on Ubuntu, then it's sudo app get install, yada, yada, yada. You know what, you know how the install package is. Of course you do. All right, so we're not going to go through that. However, uh, I do want to discuss some things here uh, that you're going to need to do. Uh, why don't I uh, do it graphically here? I'll just... Uh, All right, and then um, let's go into our file system here. Go into Etsy, and then we want uh, security limits D. And in this folder, you're going to need to create a file called audio.conf. And you're going to need to put this data in here, okay? All right, and you can see the, uh, the uh, information clear on the screen at audio hyphen rtprio. 95 at audio hyphen memlock unlimited all right um, then you would save that file okay um, you're also going to need to uh, edit Etsy pulse default dot PA you open up default PA here all right, and then under uh, load audio drivers statically, you'll need to make sure that load module, module jack sync, and load module, module jack source, these items here, you need to make sure that is in your default PA file and you will save that. Okay, when you have QJack control installed, you will need to go into setup here. And under options, I have this line here. PACMD, set default sync, jack out. And then I put a semicolon and then I have it sleep for five seconds before running the pulse audio K. Um, and what that will do is it's, it, it shuts down the, uh, regular, uh, sound server here. I've got this, uh, audio so I can choose which one, uh, I want to have instead of having the uh, default sound server in the listing, it gives me a choice of Jack sync. Okay. And so then I've got both pulse and Jack running at the same time. Now, if you and what's neat about this is, let me cancel this, if you stop or quit QJack control, it will revert back, but you may need to go into your audio switcher application and then choose your original uh, sound server once it appears in the list. Uh, but at any rate, that is all there is to it. That's all I had to do uh, to basically uh, set this up and then uh, basically Pulse will work with um, with Jack. Now, let me uh, close this window here. Now, uh, here you're going to see when I have Pulse Audio open, I mean OBS open, uh, I have to actually uh, set up some things uh, for being able to uh, pull Jack into this so that it can receive the uh, Jack signals. And that is done uh, with this uh, graph application here. And this will allow you to uh, patch audio uh, so that, for instance, uh, I don't have anything plugged in right now that's using uh, Jack, but I do have, uh, for instance, uh, this is uh, for Guitarix, when I have Guitarix running, and then I have one here for uh, Hydrogen. All right, what, what will happen is uh, if I want 
uh, OBS Studio to be able to uh, pick those sounds up. When I open those applications, like uh, let's go ahead and uh, get um, hydrogen in here. Okay, you're gonna see that, um, let me uh, move some stuff around here because it's it does cause a little bit of a mess here. I will need to run a line out uh, to the uh, input clients for Jack so that it can pick it up and then uh, start receiving uh, the recording. And sometimes, though, I found that I have to restart OBS Studio for that to uh, take effect. So I actually have to have all these things uh, running uh, beforehand. But I can check and see if it does pick up. It, you may be able to hear that now because uh, I do see that um, there's something going on with this. So uh, at any rate, uh, pretty much that's it. Very simple, very easy to set all of this up. Okay, that's all I've got for now. Um, my next episode, I think I'm going to cover uh, guitarics in better detail. Um, maybe I'll even, uh, in another episode, take a look at rack or rack probably need some ideas. If you guys know of some really good software that you can use with a guitar or other instrument uh, that's like that, that uses an analog input, um, you can uh, hop on cupoflinux.com and let me know what they are, and uh, I'll see about um, looking into them and that sort of thing. Uh, a little bit of love goes a long way, so be sure to take just a portion of your time today and be excellent with somebody. Until next time, peace out. Thank you.